In the year 2000, the world looked forward to a new millennium, not only with fireworks, but with promises. Promises we would see an end to absolute poverty, to avoidable disease, oppression of women, and children without education. And for once, promises were backed with targets, the Millennium Development Goals. The Millennium Development Goals, the MDGs, are targets for development. They were agreed by all 189 UN member states in 2000 as targets for everyone to meet by the year 2015. And they're the theme for this new series of life. The Millennium Development Goals provide us for the first time in history with a shared vision among all of us, including at the highest political le level, what development is about and who should be doing what to put an end to poverty. The beauty of the Millennium Development Goals actually is that we agreed to uh, do our bit. The rich countries have to improve significantly and so do the poor countries. There's no way we can achieve this without both doing their job. Ours is the very first generation in history that had the possibility and the ability to feed every hungry person on earth. We had the technology, we had the food, we just didn't have the will. And that's where the MDGs come in. Over recent years, the rich countries, with a few exceptions like the UK, have given less and less of their income in foreign aid. The Millennium Development Goals are designed to reverse that trend, to set clear and measurable targets for developing countries to meet in return for foreign aid. The idea is that taxpayers who finance foreign aid have a right to see results. Well, the trick is that by setting the targets of the Millennium Development Goals, we are creating an agenda of things to achieve. The raw material making that possible is basically an input of money. This money is found in one place only in the pockets of taxpayers in the rich north. The MDGs, it's hoped, will persuade taxpayers to dig deeper into their pockets because they care or because they're concerned at what could happen if they don't. Even if people would not care, it is important to realize that indeed globalization means diseases travel, crime travels, drug travel, um, terrorism travels. So we are in this all together. These are the kind of people the MDGs are meant to help. Over 10,000 slum dwellers in Metro Manila owe their living to scavenging on the Payates rubbish tip. In developing countries like the Philippines, over a billion people live on less than a dollar a day. So millennium target number one is cutting that number by half and eradicating extreme poverty and hunger. I think it can be achieved. I think it can certainly easily be achieved. I don't think its simple achievement would be a source of great celebration for me. Um, it, it would be just one step. Uh, in, in some ways, it's an easy target. And the sad part is that even though it is an easy target, it is so difficult to achieve. But it could be achieved with political will, as the next program in this series of life shows. China has some of the poorest and most remote villages in the world, where cameras don't often go. But China claims to have lifted 250 million people above its basic poverty line of 66 cents a day. Target number one is achievable. It will be achieved if each one of us plays our part and does what they're supposed to do. If in developing countries we, d we develop policies that support this goal and we put money where our mouths are, and also in the developed world, if policies too and are developed that can support this goal. In a Chinese school, they're still working at 10 at night. On the walls, acceptance notes for the students from universities. But to have a chance of university, children first need primary education, 